Hi, this is James Wan. It's James the Wine Guy here to share this wine with you today. This is Light Weingut and it is a Riesling called Eins, Zwei, Drei. And uh, you'll see the imprint of three. And uh, I think it's really well done. Really the emphasis is that this is a dry Riesling and it's seen on the bottle cap as well, so screw cap wine. Back panel for your review. This is a 12% alcohol content wine, so it's super low in alcohol and it's coming from the Rangau. And uh, definitely the emphasis is on the dry, the trocken. Now, this is, um, it's a gorgeous wine and something that I just did a pre-tasting earlier and I just thought this is just phenomenally beautiful and you just see the pale coloration. It's just slightly straw in coloration. And um, the aromatics are so lively on this that you just wanna keep smelling this wine. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, for me, I think it's really important for producers like this to come out and say, we are a dry um, racing producer because I think the emphasis or at least a thought of that uh, the, the uh, German wines or wines such as uh, Riesling or Gewürztraminer are always going to be sweet. And that is not the case. Sometimes they might impart just a little residual sugar, but I think the emphasis is on crafting bottles of wine that are really going to be enjoyed either by themselves or with food and savory, the savory part of the, of the meal versus the sweet part, the end part of a meal. Now, this is just something that is just wondrous on the on the scent, I, just dazzling aromatics on this wine. Uh, apple orchard, yellow citrus, white floral notes, and uh, just you, you get the sense of what is going to come when you taste this wine. So here we go, I'll take a taste of this wine and give you some notes back. Beautiful flavor notes of seared Spitzenberg apple, Kamis pear, citrus zest, honeysuckle, mineral and hint of pie spice. Now what I love about this wine is it's a superbly dry wine, elegant, bold and yet considerable finesse, gorgeous layered notes and a long finish and that for me is just seal the deal with an amazing white wine. Often I drink more red wine than white, it doesn't mean I don't appreciate white but really I, I like the, the quality of this wine which is it gives me that um, the quality of what red wine is which just has me slow down just a bit. In some white wines I just tend to drink it a little too quick and um, don't really get to enjoy the experience. And it depends where I am. If I'm enjoying myself with a dinner, um, slight cocktail hour, or maybe it's uh, enjoying some appetizers. But this wine just makes me stop and think and it just pairs well with so many different foods. The cheeses just go so superbly with this wine. So I give this wine a 9.2 out of my 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jameswineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.